ओके गाइस इट्स टाइम टू नो समथिंग अबाउट लेप्रोमेन टेस्ट्स सो वी सेल स्टार्ट नाउ लेप्रोमेन टेस्ट ओके ये So we shall discuss with a lot of points. Not a lot. Actually, this is also a very short video. Not short. It's comparatively short than others. So in lepromine test, what is done at zero point one mL of lepromine. is injected intradermally and uh, lepromin reaction the lepromin reaction is a biphasal reaction that is a uh, biphasal means it has an early phase and a slow phase so we shall discuss discuss about what are the significance of these two phases two phases and what is actually lepromin test implemented for uh, it's performed for and what it gives us about so first is 0.1 ml of lepromin mean is injected intradermally and this lepromin reaction reaction is biphasal okay first let me write biphasal is biphasal reaction that is has two phases and early phase and a slow phase so early phase and slow phase so early phase is also known as fernandez reaction and the late phase is known as mistuda reaction the fernandez reaction can be seen in 24 to 48 hours oh sorry seen in 24 to 48 hours and lasts up to 3 to 5 days okay and it is characterized by Erythema and in duration, and is a, it is of no significance. No any significance say. So the next is mistura reaction. This is seen in. a week in one week
and is peak at fourth week and then it subsides and subsides then in this reaction this reaction consists of indurated skin nodules which may alterate okay and this is this has some this has importance because it is a measure of cmi induced by the injected lepromin okay so after this what is actually lepromin test done for so lepromin test is not diagnosis it is just a measure of cmi induced by lepromin itself okay and lepromin test is done to classify to okay to classify by the lesions whether they are lepromatous or tuberculoid and how it is it is done is if lepromin test is positive then is it is a if you are watching our if you have watched our previous videos you will be able to answer that if the lepromin test is positive it is obviously tuberculoid and negative shows that it is lepromatous type and the other point or other thing that why it is done to assess prognosis the other point is assess prognosis and this also can be understood those who have watched our previous video because positive lepromin test means it has good prognosis and negative means the prognosis is poor so uh, this much in lepromin test and now we should we shall discuss about the laboratory diagnosis and the treatment which will also not be so long and i hope that you are getting the points that i tell you and these are easy to understand and easy to digest and if you feel that anything should be improved if you have any suggestions you can have your say in the comment sections i'll try my best to improve as 
we are also learning even our team is learning so we will improve in the future we will try our best to provide you with better quality contents and quick to digest notes thank you